Thank you for coming. Oh, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Last season? Yeah. I mean, for me, you know, as a player, uh, I came in late, so I had to adjust to the system. For me, last season, you know, I think we achieved some of the things that we needed to achieve, but at the end of the day, it was still not enough because as a team, you know, we still want to make the playoffs, make the championship, and us, you know, our motto is just to get better every day, you know. So as time passes, days goes by, we just give our best in every practice and every game. And I'm really excited about this year because I feel like we can really improve right now as a team. And as me as a player, I arrived early, so I think I can adjust more better this time. You know? I mean, for me, it was really tough, number one, because it was my first time in Japan. You know, being a local, I didn't understand or speak right. <laughs> any Japanese. So. It was, it was kind of tough, but you know, some translators really helped and some of my teammates, they spoke English, but as a player, you know, it was really tough. But at the same time, it was really fun, you know, new culture, new people, new country and new system for really competitive basketball in the B League. So it was a lot of fun for me. Uh, you know, a little different culture, but it's really nice here, you know, I really appreciate the people and uh, especially the food. I love the food. <laughs> I love the food, but, you know, being in Japan is just, it was, it's a great honor and just really happy to be here. What do you like most? The most? Yeah. Oh, I like the people here. They're really disciplined over here, you know, <laughs> like the rules and stuff. And like I said, the food, the food is really great. You know, I could, just the food. What's your favorite? My favorite? Oh, right now I've been eating a lot of karage. Karage, yeah, fried chicken and some, uh, Tonkatsu, tonkatsu, yeah, tonkatsu and ramen. I love the ramen. <laughs> oh, Coach Mike, he's really an amazing guy, you know. You know, he's actually one of the main reasons why I chose to play for Shinshu. Right. Like, a lot of teams talked to me before I went to Japan, actually, but I chose Shinshu. One of the main reasons is Coach Mike, because he's easy, easy, really easy to talk to, and um, he really explained the system to me very well, and, you know, as a player, he really thinks that I would be a good addition to his system and I believed in him. So, Coach Mike is a really good father figure too, you know, so. Mm -hmm. As a coach, I mean, as a player, you know, you look, you look for that in the coach, so. Yeah. So, how was the conversation like, you know, when you joined the team? Uh, I mean, it was, uh, it was okay. I mean, I talked to a couple of teams and, um, right, right. like I said, Coach Mike was one of the most easiest people to talk to, you know, just talking to him like I felt like home already. When have you guys met? Oh, Coach Mike? Oh, yeah. I think we talked, uh, I think our Zoom call was around um, early September. Yeah, around early September, that was our Zoom call. And the season already started by then. Right, right. So right. that was our Zoom meeting in September. Then I was still talking to other teams. Yeah, so I think it was September, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now, you know, my motivation is just to get better every day as a, as a player, you know, inside and outside the court. I want to help the team out and do anything I can just to help the team. And like I said, this, this time I arrived early, so I have no excuse. I need to learn the system. I need to adapt to the Shinshu culture. So just get better every day and help any way I can. Right now, my role, I think Coach Mike said, is just to help the imports out. You know, I got three imports and, you know, Mac, Wayne and Josh and for me, I think my role is just to be their backup, you know, help them when they get tired, go in and give quality minutes to the team. Do the dirty work. Yeah, yeah, cool, that's cool. I'm really excited because we got a couple of uh, new players like uh, Takumi Simon from Guam. He's also like me half, so half Guam, half Japanese, mm -hmm. and he's really good, amazing player as far as I've seen. I'm just really excited. Like I said, you know, I arrived early and getting together with the guys again and practicing. I'm just really excited. And I think we're really going to improve today, this season. Did you talk to Simon? Yeah, yeah, I talked to Simon. I mean, he's uh, like his first time as a pro also, like me, first time as a pro when I got here. So just gave him some advice and, you know, just 
talked about the team system and all that and the players and he's a good guy he's easier to talk to him. and he speaks Japanese too he's even yeah, he speaks and understands Japanese so he's better than me so I was like shit I thought, <laughs> I thought I got somebody behind my back now but no he speaks good Japanese too so yeah. did you guys talk in Japanese Oh no, I don't understand him. No. <laughs> okay. I asked him like he speaks good Japanese. Okay. He understands the stuff. So, yeah. okay. do you study Japanese? Oh, I haven't, but you know the guys. So they they try to teach me some stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find a tutor because I'm required. Actually, the Japan national team made me like you need to find a tutor, bro. Right. You need to find a tutor so you can easily adapt to system. So okay. yeah. Honestly, I, I was. That was not something I expected. Like going to Japan, I only expected to play in the B League for the Shinshu, you know. And when I got the call up at first, I didn't believe. I didn't believe it actually. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't believe it. Like, you did. yeah, like uh, Sir Moss was telling me, "Hey, you got to call up the training camp, Japan national team." And I was like, I thought he was kidding at first. I didn't really believe it. So when it sunk in, I already messaged my family and all that. And I just feel really blessed because playing for the Japan national team was unexpected. So it just goes on. So I thought I was just going to the training pool, you know, just to train and all that. Then the second news was I got a team A, so I got to play in the FIBA right. Asia qualifier. Right. So that's another unexpected blessing. So it was, I was just, you know, really happy you know, just to play and represent Japan for the first time. Oh, they got a, for me, they got a really different system. Coach Mike, oh, I mean, being in the B League, you have imports, right? Japan national team is all Japanese people and we don't really have that much big and right. strong players so coach Trump system is more on five out five out players like everybody out no post-up game right. like anybody needs to dribble anybody needs to shoot they can shoot and coach uh, Mike system being having imports right so post-up game and mixed European style basketball uh, coach Tom just told me you know just have confidence in myself because he told me that being a local big man in the B League is tough because you know you got a lot of imports so playing time is like really limited so he just told me just to keep my confidence up and just keep training every day and get better and just don't waste any minutes whenever I enter the court and give it my best. Teammates? Yeah. I mean I first came to Japan I think the first teammate I talked to was Josh. Josh. Uh, yeah, right, Josh. Right. He's a really amazing guy, you know. He's like, senpai, senpai, sensei. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, teaching me to speak Japanese and understand, you know. He really cool. When I went to Japan, like, and I didn't know that the weather was like this. Like, <laughs> I didn't bring any, like, winter clothes, like, jacket. I don't know. I didn't bring. And, Especially in Uh-huh. Like, bro. Oh, uh, so, Josh was one of the guys that really, you know, helped me out, mm -hmm. like, the first first time I got here so Korea like they really helped me out also like speaking Japanese and they're gonna they help translate sometimes so it's really a big thing for me and just being with them like same age bracket it's really fun to be around those guys really funny guys so tell me about that tattoo you knew that new tattoos <laughs> so yeah I didn't have these last year <laughs> <laughs> yeah right right yeah so I got like uh, five tattoos like Ooh. yeah this one this one and then this one, well, basically all of these is from a Bible because mm -hmm. I'm Christian. For so I mean, yeah, Bible. So I'm explaining this one. This one is a Bible verse in Japanese. It's Joshua, Joshua 1 9. Mm -hmm. It's in Nihongo. So can you read it? No. Yeah. Okay. yeah it's a Bible. It's Bible. Yeah. My favorite yeah. Bible verse. Then oh. I got these two big ones. It's kind of big, but yeah. So it's a samurai. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'll stand up? Yep. All right. So oh, yeah, okay. that's a samurai. Oh, samurai. Yeah. And then uh, this one is a Filipino warrior. Okay, you got Japanese samurai and Filipino yeah. warrior. It represents like me being like half Filipino and half Japanese. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh, it's also a Bible verse. It's, uh, it's Romans eight twenty eight. Basically, it just say like God is greater than my highs and lows. Romans eight twenty eight and Joshua one nine. Cool. Yeah. So you are represented Japan and Filipino. Yeah, Japan and Filipino. Yeah. Well, obviously my expectation is to like have a better record, better record than last season and um, to have like better communication this season, like to adapt very well and just be there for each other. Like this season, we're going all out, like hopefully, you know, we have a better record. Mm -hmm. So what is your goal? Honestly, like any player's goal, we want to make the playoffs and win the championship, you know, and just get better every day and do what we can. 
Honestly, right now, I just want to focus on Shinshu because, like, last year, like I said, I came in late, so everything was just really overwhelming. So I was trying to learn the Shinshu system, then come by week, national team, every by week I was in national team, so it's kind of really complicated to adjust right, to the Shinshu right. system because every time I try to learn the player system, they call me up for national team, which is another different right. system. Right, that's, that's tough. Yeah, so it's just, it was just kind of really overwhelming. So, right. so this year, I came in early to really focus on Shinshu because mm -hmm. I really want to adapt well to the system and learn Coach Mike's system very well. All right. Oh yeah, to, to all the boosters and the fans out there, we just want to thank you for your never-ending support. And uh, we just want to know that everything we do is for you guys. And this season, we'll just try to do our best for you guys and try to win every game. And just thank you for the support. And we love you all. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. 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 Thank